if you did not have a training center or if you did not apply for a hospital where you will be doing your practicals, UJ will not admit you because you need to do your practicals while you study. Hello there, I'm Theo and this is my love nest. Welcome and thank you so so much for clicking on this video. Now that you're here, please watch it all the way to the end. A very big shout out to everybody who has subscribed to my channel so far, everybody who likes my videos, everybody who comments and everybody who recommends my content to other people. Thank you so so much and I appreciate you. If you haven't subscribed, please do click on the subscribe button and put the notification bell on so you know every time I put up a video. And um, I will be doing another radiography video today. A very small, um, very short video, straightforward. I will be showing you how to I'll be telling you rather how to apply for a training center. I'll be taking you through um, the steps of what to do. Uh, and this is after somebody actually DM me on Instagram and asked me to do this video. And I realized it's actually very important because I, I received so many people asking me how to apply for a training center. So yeah, that is what we're going to be doing in today's video. It's going to be very short and straightforward. And I will also... Um, tell you what to look out for when you are choosing a hospital or what to consider when choosing a training center so um before we start i just want to um clarify two things that are still confusing people first i want to clarify the difference between your observations and your training people are still asking me um if it's compulsory for them to do their training now and um where can they do their training in in any hospital or in any clinic um guys please understand training is what you do while you're studying you will be training or you will be doing practicals uh you will be working as a radiographer while you are still studying that is the training and then there is the observation where you just go to any clinic or any hospital that has a radiography department and you watch radiographers working and you just basically spend a day in a radiology department just to gain an idea of what radiography is about, how you will be working if you decide to um, pursue a career in radiography. So those are the two things. Training is done when you're already admitted into UJ or any other um um, school for that matter and then observations are before you are admitted this is just you observing you're just going to watch and see what radiography is about i hope that um, is a bit clear and um, another thing is um, the matter of conditional acceptance people are still confused about what it means to be conditionally accepted um, if you get an email or a letter or your student portal says that you are conditionally accepted, this means that you meet the minimum requirements for the course. You may have applied for diagnostic radiography, radiation therapy, um, ultrasound or nuclear medicine. If you are conditionally accepted, it means that you meet the minimum requirements and you stand a chance to be fully admitted um, in the beginning of the following year because we are applying now in 2022 for 2023 so if you are conditionally accepted in 2022 it means you stand a chance to be fully admitted in 2023 so um i'll just give you um three conditions that apply in order for you to be fully admitted these are not the only conditions but these are the most important ones rather you will be fully admitted if you're final results are good enough say for example you, you applied with your grade 11 results or your mid uh mid-term grade mid media grade 12 results when your final results come out if they are as good as your grade 11 or better then you may be accepted that is number one so you are you will be accepted if you keep up the standard or you you know um, do better number two you will be fully admitted if there is still space within the institution you may have passed well but if there is no space there's a chance that you might not go um, get fully admitted number three the most important one which is what we are going to be talking about now 
you will be fully admitted if you have a training center. Please note, if you do not have a training center or if you do not apply for a hospital where you will be doing your practicals, UJ will not admit you because you need to do your practicals while you study. This is very important. So please um, pay attention on how to apply and congratulations for those who actually managed to apply and they've been called for interviews. Um, don't worry if you haven't been called. Different hospitals have their own different timelines and it's different for everybody. But we're going to be talking about how to apply now. Um, there is three methods that are put down on how to apply. First method would be to call the hospital. Remember I said that UJ will send you a letter that says that you have been conditionally accepted. Also, make sure that you read that letter carefully. You go through it because it tells you exactly what you need to do. It tells you that you have been conditionally accepted. Um, here's a list of hospitals that you can apply at. Uh, in order for you to do your training, blah, 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 blah. There's all of that information in, they will attach a letter that has phone numbers, that has addresses in, and an email address to all the hospitals that work with UJ. So UJ does not work with every hospital. They have specific hospitals. I think they're like over 20 hospitals. Okay, maybe, yeah, around that range that work with UJ that actually, um, trained radiography students so when you get that list go through it and um you can pick however many hospitals you want to apply at just don't apply to only one hospital because if you apply to one hospital you're shooting yourself on the foot because you have a lot of competition so first method is when you get that letter you can call the hospitals you would like to practice at when you call them, it doesn't have to be anything long or any specific method. You can simply just tell them your name and your profile. Hi, um, good day, good morning, or whatever the time of the day is. May I please speak to so-and-so? Their name is all, always written on, the, on that paper, so you know exactly who you're calling. You may ask, may I please speak to um, Miss Brown? or any relevant person regarding applying for a training center as a student radiographer. Then you tell them, this is Theodore. I am an applicant at UJ and I have been conditionally accepted. I am currently looking for a training center. I would like to train in your institution. May you please give me your preferred method of application. It's as simple as that. They will tell you that, um, okay, you can either hand deliver the the, your application, they will tell you what they need. You can drop it off by their hospital or you can send them an email or you can use the, uh, you can post your documents for application. Right. It's as simple as that. Nothing complicated, nothing greekly, nothing fancy. You just call them, tell them you want to apply and they tell you how you should um, apply and they tell you exactly what they're expecting from you. They will, when you, they will tell you, please send your CV and your ID, what and what, like literally everything they need from you, they will tell you. Second method would be to send an email. And I prefer sending an email over calling because sometimes you'd call and these people are not answering their phones because remember, they are also radiographers. As much as they're clinical tutors, they're also radiographers. Sometimes they're not in their office, they are working um, and they can't answer their phones immediately. Sometimes they're just not in the office on that day. But if you send an email, um, they can get it at any time when they open their, their emails. So I prefer sending emails and um, same story when you send an email, introduce yourself. Um, I'm an applicant at UJ. I'm currently looking for a training center for me to do my practicals. Wara, 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 wara. But now the difference here is after you ask them for their preferred method of application, you also let them know that I have attached my documents and this serves as my application. Please do contact me if you need anything more something like that so with this method you are minimizing the whole process of them telling you send me this then you send and then you wait another three days for them to get back to you and they say oh no you didn't send me this you know you just send one email which serves as an application basically tell them this is who you are and you're applying and then you attach your documents documents that you can attach are um your cv your id your 
um, latest results if you're in grade 11 you can send them your grade 11 results or your mid term grade 12 results if you have been long qualified you can send them your metric results or if you have a previous degree you can just attach that as well and you also send them your conditional acceptance letter the letter you got from uj you must also attach it and you can send them your motivational letter i will I've also been getting a lot of people asking me how to write a motivational letter. So I will um, pin a comment in the uh, comment section of how to write your motivational letter. That's all that you have to do if you are sending an email and you leave your contact details in case they need to get back to you. Then um, the last preferred method of application would be to physically go to the hospital but i know that this will not be feasible for all of you because some people are applying uh very far away from Joburg because um uj only works with hospitals that are within the um, within the the, the the province or rather that are in Joburg basically so some of you can't necessarily come from kzn to come and drop off your application but if you can you can just Go to the hospital you're interested in, in training at with all your documents and just go straight to the um, radiology department and speak to the relevant person. You can ask to speak to the person in charge of radiography students and you let them know. I am here to submit my application as a, a student radiographer for next year. These are my documents and they can somehow go through them with you at that moment and tell you what's missing or whatever. Um, I would prefer that you do this um, if you are able to go and observe at a hospital that you're interested in training at. When you go observe, take your documents with you as well. Just make sure that whatever ho hospital you are going to observe at is on that list because you can't just go to any clinic and you say, I'm here to apply for training. If they don't work with you, Jay, you will be wasting your time. Just make sure you are applying at one of the hospitals that are given on that list. My advice would be to apply to as many as you can because um, UJ, because if you're only applying at two hospitals and there's like 12 other students who are competing with you, your chances are very slim. So apply to as many as you can. And also, um, people have also been asking me, can I wait until I'm done with my uh, exams before I can apply? I wouldn't really advise that because... Remember, you're competing with hundreds of other students who are most probably not waiting until they're done with their, with their exams to apply. You can wait for observations. You can observe at any time. Like even in December, you can still go and observe. But to apply for a training center, do it as soon as possible. You're just calling or sending an email. You don't have to get out and go to that specific place unless if you're choosing the third method I gave, which was a personal visit. But all these other ones are simple. You can do them from the comfort of your own home. Don't wait until you're done with your exams because honestly, the school doesn't care if you are writing exams during application period. If, for instance, they said, we are only going to take 50 applications and from the 50, we will only shortlist 20. You're already shooting yourself on the foot because competition will be tight if they say they're taking 50 and they already have 50 by end of october for example then your application is just going to go straight to the bin so please apply as soon as you can um the second thing i said i was going to share with you was on how to choose a training center or how to choose a hospital there's a few things you should consider first consider the distance of the hospital from campus Radiography is offered at the Dornfontein campus, the UJ Dornfontein campus. So if you're going to choose a hospital that is, for example, in Pochefstrom, it means that you will have to be staying in Pochefstrom during the two weeks that you'll be doing your training. I did mention in some videos that at UJ you have two weeks of campus and two weeks of hospital so it means you'd have to have accommodation closer to campus and accommodation closer to um, the hospital so consider the distance if you are able to have accommodation in both places it's perfect but distance is very important to consider the distance from hospital to 
camp to to campus or if there's a a hospital that works with UJ closer to your home, perfect. Because I know that people who live in Soweto and there's um, Chris Hardy Paragonath Hospital just there, then that is perfect. But consider the distance and you know your how where you're gonna stay while you're studying. Will you be at home? Will you be staying on campus? How are you gonna travel? Consider all of that. And I know you won't be familiar with all of these, um, but just google man distance from this hospital to uj just think out of the box google these things and find a way to work around them secondly consider the size of the hospital also you won't necessarily know how big the hospital is unless you go there but you can google all those things you can ask around the size of the hospital also means the quality of training you will get remember i did mention in some other videos that some radiography equipment is very very expensive and some hospitals don't afford to have it so smaller hospitals might not have some modalities so you would you would have most knowledge on those modalities as theory than practical or if you have to do practical work, then you'd have to visit other hospitals. So do consider the size of the hospital when you're applying and stuff like that. And um, also consider hospital rotations. Some hospitals are in partnership. Say for instance, um, I have a practice and I call it Damarian Partners. And Damarian Partners has four other branches. <clears throat> Excuse me have four other branches so it means let's say in the first month you're working in this branch second month third month fourth month so you rotate through all of these branches consider that will you be able to travel there will you be able to move around just all those little things consider where the hospital is and their you know working dynamics these are things you should be asking when you get up when you are calling them to find out about these things or when you are being called for an interview these are things you should ask and then number lastly what you should consider when choosing a hospital is the number of students they take don't only prioritize um, applying at a private hospital because you heard that there's a stipend and you want to get that stipend so you're only going to apply at private hospitals You'll be shocked in January when they tell you that they've already selected their three students and you were not, you were not called anyway, you didn't go for any interview. So consider the number of students that they take. Public hospitals, they take like 15, 20 students a year and there's like, I don't know, four or five hospitals, public hospitals that is. So apply to all of those, apply to as many. If possible, apply to all the hospitals on that list. It's just you sending the same email to different recipients. That's all and um yeah so lastly after you, your application was successful and whatever they will i have to rush through this because my battery is dying they will call you for an interview i've done a video on interviews i will link it also they'll call you for an interview and from there you're good to go um should there be any problems or any more questions please do put them in the comment section so that other people can also um learn from them and please do try and watch all my videos on radiography because some questions that you ask i've already answered in some videos so it becomes a lot of work for me to actually respond in my dms the same thing that i did say in the videos so please please kindly try and watch all radiography related videos you will most likely get your answers there but um should there be anything else you still require feel free to drop it in the comment section please avoid dms because i usually send the same response to like seven other people and there's somebody else who also would like to know that information so if you are asking the question in the comment section it's so much better but otherwise thank you so much guys for watching my videos i really really appreciate it and i wish you all the best with radiography um until i see you again continue to take care and share the love don't forget to subscribe bye